Hello everyone. Today we are going to be working on optical illusions. So let's go. So the first thing that you want to do is have your paper side to side and you're going to create a slightly wavy line across. <clears throat> From here, we're going to divide up our line here and we're going to add football shapes on them. So let's start in the middle here. We're going to do a curved line, make sure it touches the line, and then another curved line. We're going to do that all the way across like a chain. Try not to make these too big, but you don't want to also make them too small. Now that I have these football shapes, I'm going to go off the center and make a kind of wavy line, wavy line down. I'm also going to do it to the top as well. Now that I have my lines, now I'm going to add my curved lines. So on the bottom, all the curved lines are going to be like a smiley face. And they're going to connect between. Oops. So if you make a mistake like that, just stop at the line and then start again. You always want to stop at the line. Now on the other side, I'm doing the opposite curved line. So I'm doing like a frowny face line. Once you're all done uh, with all your lines, you're gonna outline it. It definitely looks better if you outline. Make sure you go over your lines carefully. I just made a mistake, but make sure you go over your lines carefully.
now that I have my outline done, I'm going to pick out two colors. <clears throat> I'm going to do this layer purple and <clears throat> I think just medium purple. Now you could do more than that, but it's just a lot easier just to do two colors. So basically you're going to create a checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to start on this middle one right here. We're going to start dark. And as we get to the center, we get lighter. And we're going to do this every other. So the next one would be that lighter color, other color. And then the next one after that would be this pinky purple. So as you can see, there's kind of this white line down the middle. That's where the light, lightest area is going to be. And you want to make sure you keep that with any of your coloring. So I'm going to go dark to light. So now that I've done this one, I will continue to go on going out. So if this one is darker purple, then this one's going to be lighter. And then you're going to finish the whole thing.